Now, News 13's Inside Sports with Ron Futrell. UNLV Athletic Director Charlie Cavanero is in Florida tonight to meet with Rick Patino tomorrow. Yesterday, Patino backed off from the talk about this deal being done. He says he, he wants to wait until the season is over to make a decision. Well, that could be a smoke screen. It could be accurate. Charlie could be going to sign Patino. He could be going to try to save the deal. Nothing definitive, really, at this point. One thing we do know is we've seen this video way too many times. Oh, oh no, we do know also the regents are set to meet Thursday morning. This is their regularly scheduled meeting. Some regents have said they would like to know what's going on here and hope that University President Carol Harder would let them know during the meeting what's happening here. Now, one of the problems UNLV has right now is that it is Harder and Cavanero who insisted that their current coach, Max Good, was not an interim coach, that this was his job. And then now they're out looking for another coach. That certainly does not look good, isn't fair to good. But UNLV wants to get Patino before other jobs open up when the season is over is the plan here. As for the Rebels, they have their own issues right now. Last night, UNLV traveled to Provo. It wasn't very pretty for Rebel fans. Kaspar Skambala had his worst game as a Rebel. He made two free throws, got one rebound. That's it at the bench most of the second half. Trevor Diggs accused Cass of giving up on the team. Cass refused to join the team on the sidelines during a timeout. The Rebels lost the game by 28 points. They play Monday night at home against New Mexico. Better get things together by then or this team could head south in a hurry. The preseason rankings are out for college football and the Rebels, according to one poll, are a top 20 team. CNN Sports Illustrated had the Rebels at 19th in the nation. Wow. Yeah, wow. John Robinson is putting together another great recruiting class. They play a tougher schedule next year, and Rebel football is getting some respect nationwide. Rebels finished last season with an 8-5 and five record with that win over Arkansas in the Las Vegas Bowl. They open next season at Arkansas September 1st. Spring practice begins March 20th. Mark these dates down, March 20th. Jason Thomas, by the way, should have plenty of time to heal that sore right foot that's in a cast right now. Marcus Camby says he feels bad about hitting his coach last night. He regrets that he lost his cool. Camby didn't mean to hit Jeff Van Gundy, the Knicks coach. Watch the play here. Van Gundy was actually trying to keep Camby from hitting Danny Ferry. And he got in the way. It worked. Van Gundy got 15 stitches over his left eye because of it. The NBA will probably take a slice at some point out of Camby's paycheck. It was, a, it was a stupid thing on my part during reacting the way I did. Um, like I said, when I saw the blood, and, and it was just something that, a quick reaction that, that came over me, which I knew it was out of character for me. So, I mean, I just have to wait and see, you know, today or tomorrow on that room. It was Van Gundy also, you may recall, during a fight, a brawl with the Knicks and the Heat, when he grabbed onto Alonzo Morning's His leg legs. I and was, was drug around the court. He also, he, he drove at one point a 95 Honda Civic, and it got blown off a jet uh, runway by a jet engine and so he hasn't had real good luck lately with things Never happening for him, does it? to him. And he's probably yeah. a normal height but he looks so small compared to all the Giants. Compared to the big guys. Yeah, I yeah, guess and so. Can't be certain. Well, he's going after Ferry. He shouldn't have been doing that. That was the first problem yeah. with this and then whack your coach. Like, yeah. You don't do not that. Not good. Alright, yeah. thanks Ron. Mm -hmm. We well, still have a look ahead at your morning weather conditions. Wake up forecast when we come back.